What's up guys, just when you thought I've covered every single Bambor bar type setup system that's out there, here comes another one that is very competitively priced and also a little unique and versatile compared to the other ones that are out there in the market, put out by my friend Jason over at squatharness.com or ripped by Rosenblatt. We've been talking for some time, I knew he was gonna make something like this about designing a unique foot plate that was more affordable, that wasn't uh, so crazy in price. We kind of joke around a lot that people are you know, spending so much money on something as simple as a board, a bar, and a foot plate. There's some reasons for that because things are so expensive, I might get into that, but he really wanted to put together something that was just more competitively priced, something that really pairs well with his infamous squat harness, which by the way, I'll be doing a giveaway in this video I'll mention here in a second before I forget. Of course, we're not knocking these things in any shape or form. I'll always be using some sort of bar resistance band set up as part of my training, either in the home or garage or if I'm traveling. I think it's a great accessory tool if you're not even huge in resistance bands. There's so many things you guys can do with them. Uh, not to mention, again, if you guys already own the squat harness, which I know a lot of you guys are picking that up, uh, it does go really well with adding variable resistance with added loads for resistance bands if you got a foot plate. So I'm gonna cover all this stuff in somewhat of a QVC fashion here because there's a lot of little moving components in here and do my best to be as succinct as possible. Timestamps are down below. This one, I threw out a random audible here, just throwing out a uh, giveaway here. Jason doesn't even know about this. I'm gonna give away, a in one kind of package here, a pair of collar hooks and then a pair of Jason's version two light squat harness. It's his lighter one. So I never would use this. I just put it on one time, so it's not like a used item or anything like that. Uh, pretty brand new. He sent this to me a while back to try on. Of course, I've used and have his other squat harnesses. But all you gotta do is leave a comment down below in the description box, and I will draw a random winner about a week's time. I'm only shipping this out to a continental US person though. At the very least though guys, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. And there's also a special promo code for anything from squatharness.com, save 20% off. Uh, on their website using the code hybrid20. With that said though, and I told Jason this, I'm gonna be brutally honest. There's some pros, there's some cons about this stuff. So I'm gonna lay it all out there you guys so you can make the best decision. We'll break down the components of the whole package here, but he has different tiers of what you guys wanna pick up and buy. Now granted, if you saw the complete setup, the complete set, it's still 299. Uh, with the promo code Chambers plug, it does save you $60 off that. So just kind of consider that. Uh, but you can choose between just the foot plate itself, which is 179. Again, you can use the promo code for any of this stuff. The aluminum bar for 59, aluminum handles. These things are actually pretty versatile. I'll talk about that, a unique kind of design there. Uh, his bands, which again, really not nothing to write home about, honestly, but we'll get into that, but not bad. Uh, he actually does have my collar hooks you can bundle together. They actually do work pretty good with this. I know he's on a low supply of these. Hopefully I can uh, fulfill those orders to him so you guys can uh, check those out in there. He also has this band super set, which I've covered these very loosely. These are actually really good compared to, he wanted to make actually these comparable to a cheaper option to Stroops, but some sort of fabric based tube band that has clips on the end. For the price and what you get, I think it's actually also really good. I've shown these before where you can use these outside. Of course, you can clip these on here and I'll talk about this little clip, how that's pretty unique. And I believe it comes with his uh, shorty bands. This is another kind of underrated little product that can actually overload this thing, or do some overload exercises with this unique little handy thing here. So I'm gonna talk about all the components of the complete set here, background with some uh, exercises shown. Now, if you do get the foot plate first, I'll talk about it, that it does come with the, uh, this little carrying case in this bag. This carrying case, I've seen my fair share of kind of, uh, what do you call these, like drawstring type of bags. I wouldn't trust this for long-term use. I think it's cool that he actually did include a carrying case. I'm sure it's not gonna break anytime soon, but it depends how much you're gonna be using this thing. It's not a really heavy duty bag, but it'll do the job and it's pretty decent size, of course, to actually fit this big, uh, somewhat lengthy foot plate here. Now on the complete set, or if you just wanna pick up his loop style bands, there's a set of five. I got a black one attached to this bar down there. They are branded with his new logo on here, which is cool. I told him these bands are, and he knows this, they're not like the, Best, best quality. They aren't incredibly cheap. You can tell these are not super hard latex. I got a Clench Fitness one here. This one's you know much stiffer. I always say these are like the Sri Lanka type latex, layered latex. You can tell the difference there for sure. But I know that these aren't as cheap as say this $8 set that I actually use a lot. They stretch like bubble gum, but actually never broke yet. And he said he put these things through the ringer and they're totally fine. So not the highest quality band set, I'll just say that, but they do the job. Same can kind of be said for the barbell. And I think Jason has that sweet spot of getting stuff that's overseas made products but are still good quality in the sense they're not gonna break in two seconds. So this barbell, while you can kind of tell it's just a Chinese made product, I don't know how I really describe that, but you can tell it's not like something that is like a highest quality metal, like made in the USA type of thing. Nothing against the different factories. I think it's just more cheaper manufacturing. It's just lighter of a bar. But even here in the eyelet where it really matters, you can tell that this is 
something that's not gonna break anytime soon, I don't know for sure, but sometimes when you get these things, you look at the eye holes, you know you get these things will eventually just snap and give. So it definitely feels like it's manufactured enough to withstand what you need it to. It's shorter in dimensions here, it's thicker, I kinda like that thickness. You guys know I'm not a giant fan of using this type of eyelet hole for stuff, but he actually, really creative, just simple idea. He just includes a very basic fabric strap that if you wanted to do, say, bicep curls, anything else you normally do with a hook-based system, you can go ahead and do that. I did kind of time myself, seeing how long it would actually take using something like this. It takes about 30 seconds to change out bands. Maybe comparable to like, you know, the whole Harambe sling system. So it's actually not that bad. I did ask him though a lot of questions, like, will this actually hold? Would I trust this? Would it wear into the bands? All of which he said, it's totally fine. He's tried it many times. It's not gonna break. He's compared it to, it's the same fabric that's used on the ends of tube base bands that kind of keep the carabiners on. So it's super strong material. It's not gonna break. And if Jason knows anything, he knows a lot about fabrics, especially the person he works with that makes the squat harness and handles a lot of weight. And since these fabric bands can only hold a certain degree of bands, if you wanna put bigger bands on, the collar hook options on here are kind of endless. You can simply use a carabiner to attach these. But if you got the fabric, you actually can adjust the length, which is cool. We always kind of joke like who's using these elephant bands and for what purpose, but if you really wanted to, they fit the blue Kong, which is the biggest Harambe band that is out there. Also got a code with them if you guys are curious. Uh, Sirius Steel, this gray is a big beast, holds it no problem. And like I said, if you don't want to do fabric, you can use a carabiner clip on the end there. So a lot of options as far as if you want to put some collar hooks and a hook-based mechanism on a bar, you can do that. Other thing though that is pretty cool, and Jason's really good about just thinking about these little simple creative uses, is that he has a carabiner with this handle. And what's great about this is that you can now just create a simple handle by just looping the fabric around here and then just clipping it on the end. And now you have a resistance band handle. And among other things, it's also just a nice functional carabiner clip if you want to use it for something else. Then talking about the foot plate, it is a very simplistic wood design. It's bamboo. He's got, I like this little uh, logo. It's kind of engraved inside here. It's a definitely a nice little accent to it. He's got these top hooks. I'll mention that, but underneath here, just simple metal screwed in here. There's some channels, so you can do a couple different, a variety of different exercises. Very simplistic. For sure, you could say, well, this, you know, as far as other things that are out there aesthetically, it might not be the biggest thing in the world, but there's a number of reasons why he did it this way. First thing is he made this board purposely longer so it would go along well with his squat harness. And that was the biggest complaint is that people wanted to use a squat harness with resistance bands. And the issue was the bands would kind of get in the way of their kind of knees when the foot plate was too short. So with this longer foot plate, it really accommodated that to kind of get it out of the way. And just to give you guys some references, here's my homemade Mac where my neighbor makes. It's, you know, that this is 30 inches long on the, on the uh, squat harness board. Here's also an X3 foot plate. So it really kind of dwarfs that. It's definitely a longer board. Now, one of the problems with, of course, a longer base board is that say if you want to do something like overhead presses or just prematurely kind of stretching the bands out, if you're using a squat harness, it's not that big of a deal. It's just gonna make it a little bit harder and you can, of course, can adjust the lengths in a squat harness. But that's why he includes this little kneeler, which I think is really cool. Not everyone's gonna to wanna to do this, but if you wanna just say overhead presses and stuff like that, you can just kneel on this. And while this is definitely not, sure not a super expensive product, it's actually very functional, pretty thick, decent, spongy pad here. We also talked about this, because you could have said, well, why didn't Jason just kind of curve this in a little bit to kind of make it shorter? Couple reasons for that. Uh, one is that he found, and I've heard this to be true as well, then the Geku board, the wood one that's out there, I'm actually gonna be reviewing that that's coming sometime soon. People are having issues with that wood kind of chipping at the, um, the bands. Cause anytime you're kind of cutting into wood, and I heard this from my neighbor Mac, who makes my Mac boards, he said the same thing. It's better just to keep straight basic shapes to keep the integrity of the wood. Bamboo is super notoriously very strong. I think that Geku board is actually the same thing. And so he found that, yeah, the best situation is just to kind of leave it straight. His manufacturer, the same thing. Uh, these are rounded at the edges. I have no reason to think these would actually have any kind of premature wear and tear in the bands. Uh, if they do, they wouldn't have any more, I think, than just the life of the bands themselves. He'd probably be switching out anyways because losing it, elasticity. The other reason he wanted it pure flat, I agree with this too, is that just there's more options of where the band can kind of organically move depending on where you're gonna be standing or placing the bands for various exercises. Speaking of that are these top loops here. When I first got this, I was like, what's the point of having this thing here? And I didn't really know exactly. He actually told me surprisingly, it's, it was to kind of put the handles to kind of rest around the edges to switch the bands out. So you're not kind of pulling the bands on one side and it come out, comes out underneath, which maybe makes sense functionally for a board of this size. 
But what actually I started doing with it right away, just top of my head, which actually makes a lot of logical sense and actually works out great, is just attaching, randomly attaching bands to the top of this, could be clip bands, whatever, so you can kind of superset or do things in between, but just to anchor the bands to something, say for overhead uh, band work, or like say something where you normally might be standing on the band, uh, just works out as a great little functional piece. And I'm surprised more companies haven't taken advantage of, and I can see them starting to do this, uh, seeing Jason's design here. Do I think this thing is like the best bamboo bar system in the world? I don't, I don't, it's hard to really say that because of course you're not paying, you know, 500 to 700, some of these are like $1,200 systems that are out there. Um, no, but honestly, I think the, the design of this is actually perfect. It's low to the ground. It is made out of wood. I think it's totally fine. It's wider than probably I would like for my basic exercises. I don't think there's any other cheaper system set up than this. Not to mention with the discount code, last kind of shameless plug, it actually kind of saves off some more money. That's really it though, guys. Any questions, comments, feedback, let me know. Again, if you want to get in on that giveaway, just drop a comment down below. But a week's time, I will randomly choose someone in that comment section. Or actually, it's my kids who kind of do that. So if you guys are into band products, we got some other cool stuff coming in the near future. But that is it. I will see you on the next one.